morning and welcome to Thursday and we're continuing in our thoughts from the book of Colossians so why don't I read and then pray for us. Colossians chapter 3 I'll pick up at verse 15 again. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Heavenly Father, that is our cry, that uh, we might be living for the honour and glory of your name. So please uh, lift our hearts, please encourage us, please help us to find our identity, our contentment, our joy and our peace, Uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ, that we might uh, live to serve him today. For Jesus' name's sake. Amen. Well, way back in chapter one, Paul prayed that uh, he was praying, uh, well, he said he was praying for the Colossians, that God would continually fill them with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that they may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. They were to be conscious of the fact that uh, they bore the name Christian, they bore the name of Christ as they went about their daily business and were seeking to live up to that name, which is a very high calling indeed. And that's sort of emphasised in this verse, chapter 3, verse 17, as Paul comes full circle uh, before he goes into some very practical applications in the rest of the letter. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. I mean, that is a a very high standard indeed Uh, in every area of life, in all that we say and do. uh, Notice Paul doesn't uh, include our thoughts mercifully in a sense there, um, but uh, in another sense, we want to be including them as well. But whatever we um, say or do, we want to be doing it uh, for the name of the Lord Jesus. We want to be doing it in such a way that it is worthy of bearing the name of the Lord Jesus um, in that particular attribute. That's a huge challenge um, as we look ahead to a day and filled with all sorts of different activities. We want to be seeking to fulfil them in a way which honours the Lord Jesus. But actually, um, it's a great comfort as well, because it means as Christians, as those who do bear the name of Christ, we can bring the Lord Jesus into every activity of the day, every Uh, word and deed that we will um, go through today. There is no activity that we'll be about that will be too demeaning, too low to bear the Lord Jesus. Remember, he is the one who came not to be served, but to serve by giving his life as a ransom uh, for many. He was the one who uh, stripped off to the waist and washed his uh, disciples' feet. So actually, whatever task we're about today, whether it's uh, our work, whether we're going into work or we're working at home, whether it's uh, caring for children and seeking to homeschool them, whether it's cleaning the house, uh, whether it's um, delivering uh, meals to local families uh, on behalf of school, uh, whether it's uh, getting in contact with people and seeking to encourage them by a message or a phone call or writing a letter, um, whatever it might be, even as we go out for a walk on our daily exercise, we can bring the Lord Jesus into that activity because he is always with us he's always there he's always a part of our lives so yes it's a very high calling in a sense uh, but also it is a a great um, sort of safety net or or undergirding for the whole of our life that uh, Jesus is interested in every part of our life he wants to be involved uh, and so uh, we must never feel that there is anything that we're doing that is uh, not worthy of his attention not worthy of praying that he would be sustaining us in the midst of it and looking uh, to him to strengthen us. And I think that's why Paul, uh, once again, um, as he uh, holds up this high standard, counterbalances it with giving thanks to God the Father through him. We can give thanks in all circumstances, in all situations, uh, even in the midst uh, of this coronavirus pandemic. We can give thanks because Jesus is with us in the midst of it. Jesus is helping us uh, to honour his name, to live those lives worthy. Uh, He is the one who works by his spirit to give us that wisdom and understanding, to know how we can live for him, 
He is the one uh, who will help us to bear uh, fruit in every good work, to grow in the knowledge of him um, and to patiently endure through these times. So let's lean on him. Let's look to him um, and let's remember that all that we do today uh, can be done uh, for his honour and glory. Might that lift us, might that give us a great purpose, might that give us a great encouragement um, as well as a challenge um, in the deeds of today. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for these wonderful truths. We thank you that you uh, are a part of every um, area of our life and that we can bring the Lord Jesus um, into every task, into every conversation, um, into every happening uh, of this day because he is interested in all. He, he wants to be involved um, in it all. Help us not to, to shut him out of any areas, not to um, section off some areas as part of our Christian life and, and others uh, not a part of that. But help us uh, to live for his glory. Help us today in every word and deed um, to seek to do it in his name, uh, for his glory uh, and the honour uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray it in his precious name. Amen.